Hey guys, Bill Watson. This week's about a ballistic polisher. Everyone that got all the beautiful things that they want for Christmas or New Year's don't own a polisher. And we believe that a lot of people don't know that we manufacture it. Did a podcast this week. I want you to watch it. Watch it all the way through. I want to give a free polisher away. Comment below. Any questions you have about it, like and subscribe. Guys, this week should be a good vlog for you. Watch this podcast. I think you'll see. And at the end, I'm going to show you how to win a polisher. I'm going to show you how to win a special surprise. Thank you, guys. Bye. You can buy a polisher? Yeah, people don't no. know they can. <laughs> really? I right. love that. And it actually just feels good on your teeth. <laughs> really? Let me tell you. you. You hold that polisher. You can. I think you'll be able to tell. You tell me if I'm wrong. You can feel the weight of it, can't you? It's yeah, heavy. It's heavy. It's duty. heavy. What's the process? During the bleaching process. Super excited about this. What you do is you take this right here, and here's a tip. For people who start to clean their teeth, they have to clean their teeth, but here's the brush. You notice how it's curved? Right. What I want you to know is if people, before they started bleaching, would take the time to actually have a polisher to where they can get involved in the crevices of those teeth, right. now what's happened is it's an agitator. It's actually touching only where you want the yellow to go. Right. But once you agitate, then you slam the bleaching tray on there. Okay? Got it. Now that bleaching gel gets to work in that area. Okay? But then when you're done, your teeth feel great. They feel amazing. The problem is, is you get away from cleaning. Now you're going into something that's even better than bleaching. Let me get this back in here. You go. Polishing. Now you're getting into polishing. And which, you want to do that after you put the trays on. Once you're, once you're done bleaching, off. before you leave, right? when you dry your process, part of your drying process is to take the, the cap of, they call it pumice, but it's the stuff that you polish your teeth with. Right. When you do that, you want to bleach it as fast as you can and rinse with cold water. And that tooth will fill, it'll tie the pores. I don't know why more people in America don't demand some kind of agitator and some kind of polisher. There has to be a polisher. And when you see these little weak ones, they don't have enough battery power. This is If this was a car, it would be a Peterbilt diesel. It's yeah, just big. It's solid. And they have to have them. I didn't even know they had those on the market. And when I they, thought this is what you get when you get your teeth cleaned. Well, the what happens is everybody looks at it and they go, that must be three or $4,000. I can't have one of those. Where really they can. They just plug in. Like you plug this in right there. And you crank it up, and it's so strong that when you turn it on, we call that max. But it'll go all the way like crazy. So you're, it's plugged in when you're using it. You yes. have to make it stronger. A lot of tooth polishers available online are wireless, but that makes it to where they don't have a stable power supply. So people end up either unevenly polishing their teeth or not having enough power to even polish the teeth at all. They're basically just purchasing glorified electric toothbrushes. Right. Yes, but this polisher is crazy. It's insane. It, it's more powerful than you ever need to agitate your teeth or to polish it. And the polishing puts the end on are you going to continue to do maintenance bleaching because it prevents. When you look at where yellowing starts, it always starts at the crevices, the very tips or the very top. Mm -hmm. If you polish your teeth more frequently, what you're doing is eliminating the opportunity for that yellow to re-resonate on that tooth. And I don't know how America gets away with not trying to do more polishing. How because, does, because we don't know about it. Sorry, y'all go ahead. Yeah. I'm with you. How do they, but how do they not know? I, Let's talk about 5%, top yeah. 10%. Every Instagram model that we would say was trying to do the teeth whitening, they get their teeth cleaned. They leave every week just like they go. And I guarantee if they go get their makeup done and that girl uses a brush that they don't have, they go, that's mine, where's yours? I mean, you don't yeah. leave. They take it. Yeah. You know you know when you showed me that, you're going to have to buy you another one. Yeah. She goes, well, I have another client in five minutes. Well, she's not going to get this brush. Right. Because <laughs> they won't let anything right. happen. The minute they find out that they shared on YouTube, I don't know how all these people, and let's just say it only makes up 1%. 1% is still 30,000 or 300,000 people that should have said, I have a polisher. I stole mine from the dentist. Right. They're easily available. I don't want to say they're free or cheap or whatever, but they're like less than 200 bucks. Yeah. And and you just change the head on it. 
Yeah, and it works for the whole family. It's not just like, right. like when I used to sell to soccer moms, they'd always say, I want it, but my daughters want it really bad, but my husband needs it. <laughs> and I used to always think, I know what's going to happen. Your two daughters get their cleanings all the time. Your husband's teeth are going to be really bad because he didn't ever bleach or clean his teeth. And he's the one that needs the tools to clean his teeth. Cleaning is more important. You want it, he, you're trying to address the yellowing, so you want him to be white, where you need to address the cleaning. And one polisher would clean and bleach that tooth. It's just crazy. Yeah. So you're saying so, when you buy a tooth polisher, you're not just buying it for yourself. You're buying it for your entire family. It's available at the counter of your house. Exactly. I can't imagine me having a polisher and my girlfriend leaving it alone. Right. Oh, yeah, I don't need that. And then you just change the heads. Everybody then she changes the head. Yeah. And these are the same heads Everybody you can get at any heads. dentist office. You could literally go to your dentist and say, hey, can I have a prophy head? And it will fit this polisher. Yeah, it's the same They're prophy the head. Same. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's the same exact source. Or you go online and buy more. Right, yeah. Because that's where they get them. Right. So it's kind of crazy. I yeah, guess you didn't know that. I have no idea. Yeah. No it, idea. It's a big deal. I, and, and what happens is we sell them on Amazon, which is kind of crazy. We haven't done near enough to promote it, and I think we will in the future. But I think everyone should have them. I don't want it to sound like a pitch for the polisher, even though I believe that much into it. The biggest thing the polisher does is give you exposure to cleaning because of irritation in the back of the teeth and places that they have built up that people go, well, if I bleach my teeth, then that'll, re that'll replace my cleaning. I just wish that teeth bleaching would have been an extension of cleaning. If I could get teeth cleaning to be as popular as teeth bleaching, I think it would change the world. Hey guys, I promise you, if you watched all the way to the end, I'll show you how to win a free polisher with a special prize. The prize is I'm also going to throw in a set of custom fitted bleaching trays. It's got our pumice, it's got our teeth cleaning serum, and it's also going to give you a set of cleaning tools that we'll use to clean your teeth. Cleaning teeth is the number one way to predict whitening results. And the number one reason why people don't get the results they're looking for is they can't get their teeth as clean as they need to be in order for them to be bleached. So I'm hoping to give this away. I need you to like, I want you to comment below. I need to send you, send me two pictures of your smile, your existing smile. If I think I can improve it, let me get you this thing free. I wanna send this to somebody I can help make a difference. So uh, let's get it out and I'll see you next week. I'll see you next year. Thank you guys. Bye. If you made it this far, it's because you probably liked the video. Do me a favor, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. Help us grow this channel. Our subscribers mean the world to us. I think you'll like what's coming this year. Amazing smile makeovers for people all over the world. Thank you for watching the video and hit the subscribe button. Talk to you later.